Okay, go ahead. So here's what we're doing. We are we are at right now on Joe's bike. Uh, default here. curves, right? Joe version one. These are default curves. His maximum timing that starts at 3,500 RPM is 39 degrees, and it stays 39 all the all the way across from from 3,500 RPM all the way to red line. It's at 39. Um, so what we want to do is we want to see if we can push the envelope. Uh, we're going to well, try 43 the, the and see yeah. if, and see if Joe's engine likes that. Yeah, what RPM you going to? Uh, we're gonna we're gonna do essentially the same thing at uh, at 39 at 3550. We're gonna go to 43, and then right here at, we're gonna go from 37 up to 40. And then here we're just gonna progressive yeah correct. So we're just gonna make some minor changes. Um, that's two things. One, we want to know if his engine can handle more advance, more total advance. We also want to know if increasing the advance quicker at a low rpm actually makes his engine run better by feeding more advance into it on purpose it'll lean out it'll act like it's leaning out the carburetors um we also want to know does it does it feel like it's accelerating faster or slower and joe has enough time on this bike to know so sometimes seat of the pants is the best way to do it and then we'll just move these up too so it's not as critical where these are, but... Yeah, I know. It's, uh, it, uh, How much you doing? Well, it's got the overdrive transfer. I'm just, I just did uh, three degrees like on the second one, one and then on this one. This one, I'm just going to eight, so... And not big changes. The, the main one is when does the first one fire. That's that's the one. If it's going to detonate, it's going to detonate there, so... That's that's where he's, uh, the main one is where you've got it set. He's got it, uh, the ground wires right now, right? This is, uh, yeah, he has, he has it set up right now so that this will be his new first curve. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to curve number four, which is unhooking both of them. And I'm going to go with a slightly more aggressive curve than this. So once we dump it in here, Joe's going to go for a ride and see what he thinks. Then he's going to come back, and if he says that's okay and it did not ping, it didn't detonate, then we're going to unhook those ground wires and we're going to go just a hair more aggressive. We want to get to the point where he senses it's detonating and then back off from that line. And nobody nobody knows how far you can push a gold wing because nobody's ever had this much control. So that's, And you're, and you're also running... Uh, you're, you're running you're running clean gas right now right no no ethanol no ethanol but is is it what's the octane do you know a 1500 motor i really don't figure out a way to jam it in one of my guys i'm sure it says on the pump he puts them in these little pickup trucks the cheapest the cheapest uh stuff there uh, it's just what boat. i would what i would do on it's boat gas okay. so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna save it as uh joe version two uh and we were doing what do we say 43 max Swing arm and rear. 43 max. Okay, so we're going to save that in here. And then on this one, we're going to go opposite. And this one, we're going to go up to 45. I don't know if it'll handle it. It's going to start to knock, but he can tell us at what place it does. That's crazy. It's crazy amount to put in there. but. I would love to, like, Play with that. <laughs> I tell I tell you what. When Jer when that dresser makes it to my house, whatever brought it there can bring that eighty back down here, and we'll have fifteen hundred and the eighteen hundred rear drive. So we're just trying to get these to be a better match here. These three. Yeah. But yeah, I'm interested. That engine's got some torque. And we'll try it. If this is too aggressive, which I personally think probably is, then he can go back to his other one. And if he says they're both too aggressive, um, and we really mess it up and we don't know where to go with this thing, uh, we're just going to go ahead and reset it and put it right back to where it was. So, and that was the default 1000 setting. That was the default 1000 setting, except Joe had us raise his RPM to 10,000 RPM instead of 85.
the limiter the rev limiter correct so so the the, the one the curves on the 1000 yeah, yeah. the default well, setting the what are those from where did like, you get that information you know, from? Has long we go generally 500 rpm above what the published or what the tax says or what the published red line would be okay. you don't want a customer if they waited a little too long to shift to have to hit the Wait, l limiter no no i was uh the uh the, the, the advance the numbers you're, you're how much oh we were uh, uh, we're using um uh, published data from yeah, yeah. honda deals. okay so sometimes you can get the whole curve sometimes they they yeah. leave the middle as a mystery but they'll tell you generally um generally what the max advance is and sometimes you can actually find the curves published so that's what we're using so that's what we're going to do we're just like i said it's an experiment we don't know if it's going to work or not but um so that's both on ground that's the beauty of the system you can if you don't don't like it it takes you 10 seconds to put it back to where it was so try that with stretching springs and yeah, playing no with kidding. weights and stuff so um so on this one here that's 45 so i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do uh save um, i'm just gonna do that so it's 43 max on one 45 on the other and we just need to hook up the cable on joe's bike 